All right, we're going to continue showing the Security Center Analytics dashboard of the Akamai Control Center. Over here, you'll see that we just completed the dashboard view of the routed map. The next two reports we're going to look into is called the Trends Report. So there's two that are listed here. One is called Routed Trends, and the other one is called Routed FBM. FBM stands for Flow-Based Monitoring. This is a separate product that would be contracted and entitled. So if you do not have the flow-based monitoring on contract, you would not see the routed FBM trends. So first, this is a routed trends. I often advise my customers to look at this during attack. And what that means is that when you're actively being attacked, we give you a traffic um, inspection of the different layers of the Prolexic platform. You can also look at this data as a 90-day view so you'll see all alerts or all uh, attacks that have been rel related to this traffic. Um, you'll be able to look at this in three different data sources. One is pre-mitigation, which means that the traffic from the internet hitting our border. Then you'll see post-mitigation, which is the traffic segment between our border to where we provision the clean traffic return, you know, like our GRE tunnels or our, our connect VLANs or our IP protect proxy connections. So, Everything between the border to access is referred to as post mitigation. The third traffic segment is referred to as traffic to origin. This implies clean traffic delivery, post scrubbing. And then the last dashboard you'll see is flow based monitoring. When you select each source, it does give you the ability to break down the metrics by bits per second or packets per second. It also allows you to show the configurations by the scrubbing center, or I'm sorry, the data by the scrubbing center or by the security configuration. If you were to simply click add graph, the next data source that you will plot is the post mitigation. Again, you'll have a metric, a metric to break it down by bits per second or packets per second. And here as well, you'll be able to see by scrubbing center or by security configuration. And then the last but not least would be add graph again, and this gives you traffic to origin. Now, when you go by show, you'll actually see a different a label there. This would be by the connection from our platform to your data center's router. So this might be interesting to see how the traffic is shaping to your origin, as well as then filter again by connection or by security configuration. All three of these reports can be accessed via CSV download. Oftentimes what I, I explain to my customers is when you see an attack, we can just simply graph that attack pattern. You'll see that in pre-mitigation, there was about 28 gigabits of attack traffic that was pre-mitigated. You will see that there was no traffic leakage to post-mitigation, maybe a gig and a half. And then down to traffic to origin, we had about 4,000 bits per second. So you can quickly see that attack traffic was blocked by pre-mitigation controls. Some percentage of the attack was blocked by post-mitigation controls, potentially. And then also, if we were leaking attack traffic or if it was a clean mitigation event, you know, how much traffic was being routed to origin. The second graph, that, or the second report I want to show you under routed trends is the, the routed FBM. Now, this data is indicative of traffic on your routers being sent to our cloud for reporting and alerting purposes. You'll see that there's different types of alerts that would be generated either in high bits per second, packets per second. You'll also see, see combination, which means that there's more than one type of packet flow or malicious packet. You also see some protocol misuse labels that were not currently in this uh, event lab. You can also uh, toggle this to be live updates and it'll automatically refresh. So one of the things that I like to show my customers is once you click on the details, you'll see what the, the detection method was. You'll see what the data center policy domain name was. You'll see what the destination IP is of the attack, as well as what the top talking AS was for that generated that flow. It gives you an event ID that will be correlated to the SOC, as well as the severity, the date first seen, the date last seen, and how many repeated events were triggered during that period of time. It also, it gives you a lot of information on what was the monitored rate in which the alert triggered, as well as the threshold in which the alert went live and high, both in bits and packets per second, the top 10 source IPs and their relevant bits and packets per second, as well as how many flows per second were generated by that source IP, 
On top of that, the top destination ports, as well as the net protocols. Thank you.